guys, I'm back with another segment of Converse with Christina, and I'm Brittany Kuzan, and right now I'm hanging out with Kevin Brooks. Uh, Kevin was a film major at the University of Memphis and graduated in December of 2016. So Kevin, I understand that you worked with Sundance. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, it all started when I did Keep Pushing. It was a short film about a guy who loves skateboarding, but um, he wasn't too good at it. Mm -hmm. And um, my thought process behind making the film was just to tell a story about my friend personally, he was the star of the film about how he loves skateboarding, but I mean, he's not that great at it, but he finds his peace through that, you know? And I think that's super important. I think, you know, the message was just to like, go out and do what you love to do. Don't worry about comparing yourself to others. Don't try to put yourself on this timeline of, oh, you should be here at this moment. No, just wake up and just do what you want to do, right? And um, luckily, Sundance loved that idea. They loved the film. And, um, you know, I was picked as one of five filmmakers, emerging filmmakers from the ages of 18 to 24 to fly out to Utah, and I got to experience a whole Sundance Festival, um, meet other talented filmmakers, um, talk to actors, talk to agents, and just learn a lot about the industry, you know, that's going to really help me in the future if I really want to navigate this um, industry and make films, you know. So, uh, tell me some films that uh, have inspired you or some films that are your favorite. Well, some films that really inspired me was, um, well, first off, it was The Matrix, all right, you know, I grew up. Um, I remember getting the VHS actually for The Matrix, putting it in the VCR, and just being blown away by it, you know, because it was so entertaining. It was like the visuals were just crazy. It was so captivating. But at the same time, it was thought provoking. You know, it had philosophical things in there that I did not understand at the age of six. <laughs> but later on in life, I started picking up on it, and I was like, wow, this movie actually has something to say. And I think um, that's what I try to integrate within my own films is great content where you're entertained but when you leave the theater you're also thinking like oh wow that movie had something to say and you're a changed person um, after that because of that experience and uh, you know just make something that's thought provoking um, like I love the movie Moonlight you know it was very subtle with the storytelling and um, the cinematography told the story visually which I really love and um, just the use of colors and like the, the theme of Moonlight everything was just I don't know it was just a great movie you know and I think um, Barry Jenkins is a great director, and if I could ever meet him, that would be like, the best thing ever. Mm -hmm. um, but that's another movie that was just thought of like, when you leave the theater, and you're not um, thinking the same way you were when you walked in. And I think that's what I really want to do um, with my movies, and you know, just leave my mark in the cinematic world. Okay. Uh, so my next question is, uh, as a millennial uh, filmmaker in Memphis, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about that, and where do you see yourself going uh, next, in the next maybe five to ten years? I always ask that question. Um, you know, as a millennial filmmaker, I feel like, I mean, I, I feel like it's amazing to be able to do this, you know, you, to be able to communicate to an audience through the use of art, you know, in any art form, I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think that uh, it's, a, it's a great responsibility, too, that comes with it, because I make films in a way, and I try to have a great work ethic and always do what I love to show other people, hey, if you keep pushing away at it, if you keep, um, you know, working hard and no pun intended, if you keep pushing, then, you know, one day you can do this and you can make Hollywood movies and you can um, go from using an iPhone to using like a big camera and making real movies that a bunch of people sit down and watch, you know. And I feel like that's very important to show a kid that, you know, I'm part of the Indian Memphis Youth Festival and I like to mentor kids because I think you have to show these kids, hey, it's possible. You can do this, you know? So um, I think that's very important. And, uh, you know, within the next five years or five or ten years, like you said, um, I'm working on a feature film, I'm writing one, and I hope to have that um, finished by this summer and hopefully be filming next year. And um, Well, what's the name of your, uh, your film? Can't talk about that just yet. I can't talk right. about it. Right. But, um, yeah, I hope to film uh, the feature film in Memphis because Memphis is very important to me. And I really want to showcase everything that's here. So, um, thank you, Kevin, for uh, being a part of my YouTube channel. Um, this has been another segment of Converse with Christina. I'm Brittany Kuzan.